everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and today I have a Scrapbook Blessings Club monthly hop video for you. So our sponsor this month is A Day for Daisies and I have one of their digital stamps here and it's an adorable little girl with a bundle of kittens that she's playing with and I'm going to make this in a beautiful spring card. So that's our challenge this month is spring and I went with a spring color scheme. First I'm starting with my Reeves watercolor pencils which you'll see me working here with those on this image. Um, the winner of this month's challenge, if you do participate, which I highly encourage, they will win a stamp set from A Day for Daisies, a physical stamp set. So if you're not into the digital, don't worry because you're getting a nice physical stamp set. So I'm coloring all the kittens in light grays and dark grays. And I decided to do that because I wanted the colors for the girl's dress and the yarn balls to pop. So my color inspiration for this you'll see in a few seconds here. I decided to use some uh, papers from Kathy Davis and they're beautiful blues and greens and I tried to color match those to match the card better. So for watercolored pencils what I do is I lay a light or depending on what color you want. I lay a light layer of the colored pencil down loosely it doesn't have to be really filled in and then I go over it with water and it blends more smoothly. Um, there are plenty other um, techniques for this as well. And in the upper right corner, I'm just testing out colors for skin tone. I end up going with a really light peach color that's hard to see, but it's still there. I'll have close-up photos at the end of this video as well as information on how to join the hop, so be sure to stay up for those. And I encourage you all to um, hop along to everyone else's videos. I have them all linked down below in order, so in case you um, saw a few already, you'll know which ones you saw. So this is the paper I gather inspiration from. So I'm just um, scribbling some of the colors down and then putting water over them. So I end up liking the more lime green and the light blue. So I decide, oh, that I also need to decide her hair color. So I go with this light brown, but I don't end up liking how it turns out, so I add dark brown as well. Um, one thing about watercolored pencils that I don't like is how much they do blend. I like a lot more details. So I like the darker and the lighter, but on this image it worked because of how it's printed on this heavyweight cardstock that I'm using. It worked well. So I'm using lime green on the yarn balls, like I said, and then I'll be doing the blue dress. Now with watercolor pencils, you want to put some darker areas if you want more concentrated color. So like the shadow areas, so in the armpits of dresses or where she's sitting on the ground, you'll want darker color. So you put more there. But other than that, they're pretty easy to work with. Um, really fun to work with, especially with images like these where there's detail, but you don't want to cover up the detail because I know with some marker sets it does go over the detail too much and then you can't see the lines well. So watercolor pencils are definitely the way to go for some images like this one. So once this is dry and I'm going to um, be done coloring it, see here I'm adding more texture with the dark brown pencil, which you'll be, again be able to see in the um, close-up photos as well. And also I'm not using a lot of water, very little water for this um, technique. So now I pulled out some more of the papers and I'm going to cut down the image. I did print out two of these because I wasn't sure on my color scheme at first, but the first one came out so well, I just decided to go with it. So I'm trying to decide how thick I want this because some people cut out their images like fussy cutting, but I decided that I want to do like a block panel for my card. So I'm getting my card base ready. This is 110 pound cardstock and I'm scoring it at five and a half or four and a quarter and it's um, five and a half wide. So I'm going to cut my image to five and a half. And this is a very simple card. I didn't want to go too overboard because I like um, the idea of spring being clean and simple because spring is like spring cleaning. So that's the way I like to see that. But I do go with a floral piece in a second from uh, the Kathy Davis collection I was talking about earlier. So I'm going to cut that up. Uh, pattern card stock that I pick out in a second to four and a quarter by five and a half to cover the entire back panel of the card. And then I'm going to layer my image on top of it. And then of course I have to add a little bit more texture and pizzazz. So once I have the layers pasted down, I'm using my ATG gun to do that because it's my favorite type of adhesive. So as you can see the colors really match the background paper well. And I like that it has a small scent of it that says beauty on the side as well. Um, you can't kind of read it, but it's like to the top right of the colored image panel. 
Then I was thinking I might do some ruffled ribbon, but I didn't like how much bulk it added because if I want to put this through the mail, it'll be harder. So instead I settle on some of these felt flowers that I have. These are from Michael's and they work perfectly for this challenge, which again, I highly encourage you to come join us in our Facebook group. Again, there'll be a picture at the end of this that you can um, go check out more information about. And then there's always a grand prize winner. So I'm going to glue all these little flowers down and that'll be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and be sure to hop along to all the other lovely ladies videos. And thank you to A Day for Daisies for sponsoring. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.